Welcome to our video on basic ventilation modes for ICU patients. Mechanical ventilation is often seen as a daunting task. The focus of teaching is on being able to intubate a patient. Once that's been done, tutors often say, and then connect to a ventilator. But what does that mean? The two modes of mechanical ventilation are positive pressure ventilation and negative pressure ventilation. Negative pressure ventilation is rarely used. We will be focusing on positive pressure ventilation. There are various modes to deliver positive pressure ventilation. Synchronized intermittent mandatory ventilation, or FIMV, assist control, or AC, and continuous positive airway pressure, or CPAP. These modes can be set according to volume or pressure. In this video, we will be focusing on volume SIMV, pressure AC, and CPAP with PSV. A machine check is necessary before connecting a patient to a ventilator. Make sure all piping is correctly connected. The filter of the ventilator needs to be changed daily. Ensure the humidifier is filled with sterile water. If anything is missing during the machine check, an alarm will sound once the ventilator is switched on. Once a mode is selected, other ventilator settings include tidal volume, which is the amount of air that is inhaled and exhaled during each respiratory cycle, respiratory rate, which is the number of breaths per minute the ventilator will deliver to the patient, fraction of inspired oxygen or FiO2, which is the percentage of oxygen in the air delivered to the patient, positive end expiratory pressure or PEEP, which is a positive pressure that is constantly applied to the airways. It increases oxygenation and prevents atelectasis. And pressure support, or PSV, which is a positive pressure that is delivered during inspiration only when inspiratory efforts are detected from the patient. Volume SIMV mode delivers three types of breaths. The mandatory or controlled breath, which is the breath delivered by the ventilator according to the settings. The spontaneous breath, which the patient initiates and completes on their own, and the synchronized or assisted breath, which is when a spontaneous and controlled breath coincide. The settings in volume SIMV is a tidal volume of 550, a rest rate of 14, PEEP of 5, FiO2 of 40%, and a PSV of 8. The values used in this mode and the following two are an example and will have to be adjusted according to the patient's profile. Volume SIMV mode preserves the function of respiratory muscles and is used in respiratory ICUs. Pressure AC mode delivers two types of breaths, assisted breaths and controlled breaths. Both are from the ventilator. If the patient attempts a spontaneous breath, the ventilator supports that breath and delivers it according to the pressure set. The settings in pressure AC is an inspiratory pressure of 15, a rest rate of 12, PEEP of 3, and FiO2 of 21%. In pressure AC mode, the patient rests completely and no effort is wasted on breathing. This mode is used in spinal cord injury units in patients who don't have chest compliance. In CPAP PSV mode, the patient must be able to breathe spontaneously as the spontaneous breaths is what triggers the inspiratory pressure. The settings are PEEP of 8, PSV of 12, and a FiO2 of 40%. This mode is used to wean patients off a ventilator. We hope this video has helped to demystify ventilators and that from now on you will know what to do once you've got that ET tube in. Thank you for watching.